In this small example I want to show you how you can set up a drive that you can configure according to your requirements. Let's see how this looks like in the project builder of ePlan Cogeneer. The first step is to select a target project. After that, I select the configurator that contains the macro typical that I need for this example. Here you can see a list of options. Just select what you need and the project builder generates the according drive. OK, let's have a look at the result. In the target project you can recognize that the higher level function from the project builder is used. On the next level you can find the mounting location, which is taken from the project builder too. I didn't enter a page description. Therefore it is missing. Now let's have a look at the drive itself and where we can find the selected options. The basic version has 0.55 kilowatts. You can see this value here. It has a direct drive control without the possibility to switch the rotation direction. This is the according part in the schematic. The drive will be connected to the machine via terminals. They are displayed here. The drive will be used for grinding. Therefore the according function text is used in the schematic. In addition, the mounting location for the drive and the mounting location for the cables are the same as in the project builder. OK, now I need a different drive. This time I want to have more power. And I want to have the possibility to switch the rotation direction too. Instead of terminals I prefer pins to connect the drive to the machine. Just for demonstration purposes I enter, my drive, as page description. My drive will be used to feed a machine. That's why I want to change the function text in the schematic. Let's see what the project builder generates now. As you can recognize immediately, the new page description is displayed in the page navigator. My drive now has 1.5 kilowatts. In addition it has the ability to run forwards and backwards. My preferred connection type is used too. And the proper function text is used as well. That's it. As you can see Cogeneer provides a great possibility to replace the old copy and paste way of working. In comparison it's a huge time saver and less error prone. In this part of the video I want to show you what is defined in the designer of ePlan Cogeneer. Therefore I open the designer and the project builder next to each other. First I select the configurator that is currently active in the project builder. It contains the macro typical drive dimensioning which is used for this example. To open it, I switch back to the tab macro typicals and select it in the sidebar. In the upper section you can see several configuration variables. The display names of these variables are shown in the project builder. The options that are selected in the project builder are used as values for these variables. OK, the first macro in the list is an empty basic page the other macros are placed on. Some of the configuration variables are referenced to properties of this macro. The next macro in the list contains the basic schematic for the drive. The structure elements, that are displayed in light gray, are inherited from the first macro. Again, there are some configuration variables, that are referenced to properties of the macro. Both macros are always active. The third macro contains the partial circuit for the option, direct drive control. It is used only if the related option is selected. The fourth macro contains the partial circuit for the option, direct with reverse. It is used only if the related option is selected. The following two macros contain the partial circuits for the connection types. They are used in combination with a, direct with reverse, or, direct. Drive control. The first one is used if the option, terminals, is selected. The second one is used for the same drive controls, but
but only if the option, Pins, is selected. The next macro contains the partial circuit for the option, Frequency Converter. It is used only if the related option is selected. And the last two macros in the list are used only in combination with the Frequency Converter. Again, they contain the partial circuits for the connection types. The first one is for the connection type, Terminals. The second one is for the connection type, pins. And that's all. These macros cover all possible combinations that can be generated in the project builder. Now let's have a look at the macros themselves. In this part of the video I want to show you how the macros for this example are structured. Therefore I close all parts of ePlan Cogeneer and expand the view of the macro navigator. The first macro I want to show you is the empty basic page the other macros are placed on. There is a placeholder object that contains a single variable for the page description. It's reference to the according properties of the macro and it's shown in the designer of ePlan Cogeneer. Okay, now let's have a look at the macros that are used for my drive. The partial circuits for all the options are split into several macros. This one contains all the parts that are necessary for the connection type, pins, in combination with a, direct, or, direct with reverse, drive control. There is a placeholder object that contains two value sets. Depending on the selected power of the drive, the according value set will be used for the referenced macro properties. The next macro is used in the same combination, but for the connection type, terminals. The placeholder object is the same as in the macro before. This macro contains the partial circuit for the, direct, drive control. The next one contains the partial circuit for the, direct with reverse, drive control. Down here you can see the macro that contains the frequency converter. It is used in combination with the following two macros. Again, the first one contains all parts that are necessary for the connection type, pins. And the second one is used for the connection type, terminals. The last macro in this folder contains the basic partial circuit for the drive. All the other macros are placed on top of it. In the upper section one of the macros for the drive control are placed. And down here the macros for the connection types are placed. OK, in addition there are several placeholder objects. This one contains a single variable that is referenced to the mounting location of the structure box. The next one is similar. It is referenced to the mounting location of the second structure box. The third placeholder object is referenced to the drive type. It contains two value sets. They contain part numbers for motors with different power outputs. And the last placeholder object contains a value set that is used for the function text that is displayed below the drive. Depending on the selected options in the project builder, the partial circuit for the drive is assembled out of these macros.